No matter who we are or what our goals may be, we all have something in common and that is heritage, a social, emotional and spiritual legacy passed on from parent to child. Now depending on which family we find ourselves in, the type of legacy is often different. Many Ghanaians have been fortunate enough to be born into wealthy homes with great legacies, but not all of them have been able to make any impact with their family name or legacy. My name is Zenat and welcome to Amiel TV. In this feature, we'll be highlighting special Ghanaians who have taken privileges they inherited and turned it around and made it even bigger. First on the list is Michael Jabba, one of the many children of Ghanaian industrialist, international businessman, politician and philanthropist Henry Kwejo Jabba, well known for his Neoplan business and as chairman of the Ghana Football Association from 1970 to 1972. Now Michael Jabba is the chief creative officer of iFactory Live Africa and creator of shows including Dental Show Africa, Making of a Muggle, At Home With, Cooking With, Omotala The Real Me and a plethora of other shows. Michael's father, the super rich Henry Kwejo Jabba, married 10 wives and had 24 children, including George De, De Jabba, a solicitor in the UK, Otiko Afesa Jabba, former national women's organizer of the MPP, Hans TK Jabba, a financial advisor at Tulo Oil Ghana, Daniel Peter Jabba, financial consultant in London, UK, Mrs. Nana Apia, a building contractor, real estate consultant, Ms. Hetty Jabako Jabba, an accountant in the UK, Magnus Abraham Jabba, Sachi and Sachi in the UK, and many more. Now, having worked at BBC and LWTV as a producer and director to overseeing the setup of one of UK's first urban TV channels, on BSKYB and brokering international distribution and acquisition deals with the likes of Sony Pictures on titles such as The Boondocks, he has had international experience across production, sales and distribution, which led to iFactory Live Africa being set up and becoming one of the leading producers and distributors of premium content across the continent with clients including Mnet, ETV, Star Times, and Fox Networks Africa. At number two is Kojo Jones Mensa. Emmanuel Jones Mensa, popularly called Kojo Jones, is the founder of Empire Domus. Now, Kojo Jones's father is the late Justice Emmanuel Kofi Mensa, the son of Livingston Akbako Jones Mensa, who had moved to Cameroon as the chief financial officer of Unilever. Justice Emmanuel Kofi Mensa thereafter obtained a master's in constitutional law at the Stumont Law College in Belfast, Ireland, becoming the first Cameroonian Ghanaian to read constitutional law. Upon his retirement, he opened Jones Mensa and Associates, a private law firm focused on corporate and class action law suits. Now, law certainly runs in the Jones Mensa family. Koji Jones's passion for law landed him in school at the London Metropolitan University, where he read business law. After successfully acquiring a Bachelor of Laws in Business Law in 2011, he further pursued a Master of Business Administration in 2012 at the Coventry University in the UK, where he specialized in oil and gas management. He gained a lot of working experience with the fuel construction and real estate companies in the UK. After working and gaining so much education, experience and exposure from the UK, Kojo returned to Ghana in the year 2015 to establish a new business alongside his family. He now runs and owns multiple businesses. He is the CEO, founder of the Empire Conglomerate, which comprises various businesses in various sectors. There's Empire Concrete Limited, Empire Domus Limited, Dominion International Petroleum Limited, KJM Trading Limited, and King's Crown Media. Now moving on to the next legacy child is Tamara Jonah. Tamara is the daughter of Ghanaian businessman Sir Samuel Essen Jonah, 
former president of Anglo Gold Ashanti and the executive chairman of Jonah Capital. Mr. Jonah is reportedly worth $1.2 billion. Now, Jonah Capital, a holding company and private equity firm that makes investments in the mining sector, real estate, agriculture, construction materials, financial services, oil and gas services. The private equity firm is 78% owned by the Jonah family and 22% by Standard Bank. Now known as Tamara Jonah Goka, she is the owner of Lionheart Events, an event design house offering full service event planning for usually the rich, not like you and I. She married into the Goka family, another rich Ghanaian family that includes Tuchi Goka, who is daughter to the sister of Ghana's first lady. Next on our list are Henrietta and Kennedy Osei. Kennedy and Henrietta Osei are for now the most publicly known children of Dr. Osei Kwame Despite, chief executive of Despite Group of Companies, who is one of Africa's most successful businessmen. Mr. Osei is noted for collecting luxurious vehicles and has great love for exotic cars. Now, Kennedy Osei is the eldest child of Dr. Osei Kwame Despite, affectionately called Ken. He is now the general manager of the Despite Group of Companies, operators of PeaceFM, PeaceFMonline.com, OKFM and Need FM in Accra, Hello FM in Kumasi, and United Television in Accra. Ken studied business administration at the University of Ghana and has a master's degree in economics, money, banking, and finance at the University of Birmingham. He is also the executive managing director of Golden Crystal Lodge. Now, Herita Ajua Osei in 2017 completed a master's program at the University of Warwick. She later made the headlines all over Ghana, just as her brother, when she married Kweku Shink, son of a rich import merchant. Nana Kweku, Chifi, and Eja Indum, sons of Ghanaian serial entrepreneur and politician, Dr. Papa Kwesi Indum, cannot be left out of our list. His group Indum Company has over 60 businesses from banking to media to real estate, insurance, and mining. Now, Dr. Indum revealed how he lost $2 million in a day. I'll go mad if I lose that amount of money in the April edition of the Forbes Africa magazine. Nana Kweku Indum and Chiefy Indum are both vice presidents of Group Indum. They oversee their family's investment in Illinois, service Federal Savings and Loan Association in Chicago. The Indum's $9 million stake in the ISF Bank marks the family's entry into the U.S. financial services industry. Dr. Eja Indum is a neurosurgeon in the United States of America. He is the first black to chair the Young Neurosurgeons Committee of the American Association of Neurological Surgeons. Watima Kwabina and Kofi Dufour, children of Dr. Kwabina Dufour, former finance minister and former governor of the Bank of Ghana, surely deserve a mention in our list. Reportedly worth $680 million, Dr. Dufour is the founder and chairman of Hoda Holdings, a business entity comprising insurance, banking, real estate, farming, mining, and media of the AI group. Group now, Batima Kakra Dufonyako is the chief actuary and executive director of Style Life Assurance Company Limited. Kabina Dufour II is the board chairman of Uni Securities. He is a banker by profession and was appointed CEO of Unibank Ghana Limited, effective 1st June 2017. Kofi Dufour is also the managing director of Star Assurance. Kofi had his insurance training in the United Kingdom and has been in the insurance industry for over 25 years. Now, next on the list is Martin Biko. Martin is the son of Theresa Opon Biko, the CEO of Manet Group, one of the largest real estate developers in Ghana. Martin is the managing director of the Manet Group. He is married to the beautiful Crystal Jean, CEO of Ainen Limited, and a former TV host. 
We cannot complete this list, obviously, without mentioning the real estate family, Nana Kwame Bediako and Kweku Bediako. Now, even though there's not much information about the legacy of these, about the family legacy of these two brothers, one thing that is admirable is the way they have carved a niche for themselves. Nana Kwame is CEO of Wonderworld and Petronia, a real estate developing firm. He is the new kid on the block as far as the construction of modern city estate and townhouses of the likes in Monte Carlo and Miami in the United States of America are concerned. He started life as the owner of a nightclub in Accra in his mid-twenties. By age 21, he had made a million pounds for himself selling scrap steel and telecommunications materials while attending school at Waltham Forest College and briefly Westminster University. Today, Nana Kwame is known for the ambitious pro projects like the construction of a 4.5 billion estate in Takradi. Among other projects are 43 apartment quality residents in the airport residential area named after his mother. There is also the 16th floor building designed by the celebrated architect Branco Cavallero in Oxford Street in Osu. Nana Kwame, also known as Cheddar, is noted for his love for supercars and he owns a fleet including a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. His brother, Kweku Bediako, is also the founder and chief executive officer of Chase Petroleum Ghana Limited. A recent report estimated his worth to be $350 million. He is also the founder of Gold Key Properties and Blackwell Properties, two of the leading property developers with luxury apartments and townhouses in three prime areas of Accra, which includes airports, of course, cantonments, and Roman Ridge. Now that's a wrap. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below and see you in my next feature.